to make sure that it is all legally done and that we have minimal issues. What is going on guys? Thanks for clicking this video. Today we're with Jessica from Iguana Solutions and we are trapping some iguanas at the marina. All of these iguanas. All right, we got our first trap. Of course, we have this beautiful saltwater intercoastal. What type of spider is this? Drop some comments and let me know. Mullet. The mullet? Yeah. Oh, all the mullet? Look at them. That's crazy. <laughs> Something attacked the mullet. For real? Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a cuda in there. Oh my gosh. Is a barracuda? Uh, just attacked all the mullets. One's, one's walking in. One's walking in? One's walking in right now. Did you get him over here? Yeah, well, down on the other end, but yeah. 220. There you go. So within a couple hours. A couple hours, they're in. And I will directly speak to the people that are worried about it. How do they get in there so well? They get them out because they grab everything with their claws. Oh, yeah. yeah, it looks like a nice boy. Jessica's traps are amazing. In one hour, we had four in one trap. Orangey one, and then we have this green with the orange bands going down his back, and then we have an all green one right there. Notice the raccoon trap that we filled with fruit. Is, hey, it's not triggered, and all the fruit is gone. After trapping, we decided to pole catch whatever we can see. Try to bite it. Got him. Watch that one. It's getting away. All right. I see him. I see the other one. How oh, funny. Bite this. There you go. That's in his mouth, my hand can't be in his mouth. Iguana's in the bag. Shout out to the iguana boy. Yeah, we got that big orange boy here. One, I mean, one of them, I'm sure there's one. And right here, Jessica noticed some of these iguanas have mites. No, oh, he's in the shade now. Oh yeah, now he is. Oh, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I see, I see. Oh, the other one doesn't even care when you walk over. Look at that color difference. He doesn't have them bad, but that's what he, that's what that is. It's like a mite that's not native here. He's spreading it to our native reptiles, and he's just a nasty lizard with covered in essentially lizard ticks. Like if you ever go squirrel hunting, you got a squirrel covered in fleas. Yep. Yeah, just covered in fleas. Can't even pick it up. After catching iguanas for a good hour, I guess one of the residents called the troll. And the whole squad came to see what was going on. But before I knew it, Jessica had another iguana. Gosh. Okay. He was feeling pretty bold, so he got caught. So we gotta go though, it's already three o'clock. We gotta we're so far north. We gotta start heading south. Oh. Pretty colors underneath. Wow. In breeding season, the girls seem to get like a thicker neck so the boys can grab them here for breeding because they're pretty rough. Hey, give this video a like and subscribe if you're new. Let us know what videos you want to see us do in the future. It's the Iguana Man signing out. So until next time, just keep on catching.